Hi, welcome back. Uh, we're looking at another short story from the collection Multi-Species Cities. Um, this time we're looking at A Rabbit Egg for Flora by Caroline M. Uh, Yauheim. And I think I'm mispronouncing that last name, um, but it is uh, up there on the screen if you want to double check it. Um, and I don't have any opening notes or anything. Uh, it's a pretty tame story. It's a good story. Um, I really recommend it. So let's hop into our passage. I route my game data through the house projector, and rows of animal badges appear on the wall. We've hatched nearly all the insects for our region, but only a handful of the larger animals. Building an ecosystem is hard, even with the step-by-step -step instructions. It doesn't help that my action items sometimes shift suddenly when other local players introduce new animals. The hawk, though, is useful. Uh, helpful. With a predator to keep the squirrels in check, maybe I can earn a rabbit for Flora. So, A Rabbit Egg for Flora by Caroline M. Yauheim follows Flora, a four-year-old girl, and her mama's experiences playing a game called Menagerie. Uh, the game consists of discovering and hatching nanite-filled eggs that have been delivered and hidden by drones. Players press a button on the top of the egg to deploy the nanites, which then form an ecologically appropriate animal. As such, players, seemingly everyone is playing the game in this world, uh, spend time to working to make the environment more habitable to attract higher point animals. And while we're never told the origins of the game, it's hinted that it's part of some initiative to promote ecological restoration. For example, we're told that certain marine animals have not been ad added yet due to the acidity of the ocean, and they're described as uh, DLC, if I remember correctly. In the story, Flora is too young to fully participate in the game, but is hoping to hatch a bunny similar to the stuffed bunny she carries around. Flora is a relatively lonely girl and misses her mom, Kalita, who left the partnership with Mama sometime recently. Our narrator, Mama, spends her time working with Flora to make the environment suitable enough for a rabbit egg to appear. After a few false starts, a scene at the park as we learn more about the world and the environmental balance being restored, and Flora and Mama's efforts with planting clover in the backyard, sure enough, a rabbit egg does appear at the end of the story. After Flora remarks that they should try to hatch an elephant egg next, uh, Mama ends the story noting that, well, an elephant may hatch someday, they should try for something more realistic in the meanwhile, such as a blue jay. Um, a continual theme throughout the story is slow going repair and healing. Not only the internal healing in Flora and Mama from an unseen split between Mama and Mum, but also the parallel healing in the ecological makeup. Another interesting idea from the story is gamification to motivate people and children into caring for and understanding the ecosystem. Uh, from the introduction to Multi-Species Cities, the anthology where this can be found, quote, in reimagining cities as gentle, as contributing to the ecosystem and landscape, as more than human habitat home, habitats, um, home to diverse forms of life, we can learn to negotiate, coexist, and flourish together. As we learn more about ourselves, we find that cities with healthy ecosystems and green spaces are also vital to human health. A, few tr a view of trees from our windows, uh, dirt and plants as kids' companions during daycare, the endless joys of chance encounters with multi-species neighbors. In jointly caring for and about place as the more than human stewards of urban landscapes, we may find ourselves to be cared for in return, each place reflecting our beliefs, values, and cultures, each of us reflecting the places of our lives. Uh, and so one of the big questions of the story is, what is the story telling us about healing? Specifically, why does the story draw a parallel between the character's healing and the environmental healing? As always, cite the text and any other sources to support your answer, and thanks for watching.